everybody uh, this is lecture for topic one introduction this this course is the management accounting three course so it is an advanced course uh, this is the first topic and uh, this topic will introduce you to the uh, to the topics that will be covered uh, in this course also it contains uh, the the basic about uh, management accounting okay this is about the cost management information and cost management so see this the, the difference between these two concepts uh, one is cost management information so the focus is on the uh, information and the second concept is cost management so the focus is on the management of cost okay but but this is not very uh, should should not should not the be the main focus so we focus on this management accounting uh, according to the institute of management accountant uh, this is a u.s textbook these notes are coming from a u.s textbook so the definition uh, is uh, coming from u.s so but we still can um, can learn from this uh, definition so what is a management accounting what is management accounting management accounting is a profession that involves partnering in management decision making devising planning and performance management systems and providing expertise in financial reporting and control to assist management in formulation and implementation of organization strategy so always remember uh, management accounting what is a management account what is management accounting management accounting is one branch of accounting uh, accounting has several branches there are two main branches of accounting financial accounting and management accounting so management accounting is one uh, branch of accounting and uh, management accounting is the type of accounting that you can use uh, to help manager to make business decision to to prepare plan for the business to provide uh, data or information for financial reporting purpose uh, to provide data or information uh, for controlling purpose uh, and for uh, for the business to develop strategy so always remember a management accountant uh, uh, is working under manager uh, the the most of the time a management accountant uh, assist manager to make business decision to plan for the future of the business to develop strategy and uh, controls etc okay remember that also you have to to remember what are the difference uh, uh, between financial accounting and management accounting in terms of output in terms of users in terms of focus in term of emphasis etc uh, so if you uh, if you uh, if you do not remember about the differences then check the uh, the the uh, like previous master textbook or something because it is very important to be uh, very clear now at this stage the difference between uh, different branches of accounting now the focus is uh, in this course it, it is focusing on management accounting so now uh, and also you have to aware about the position uh, or where a management accountant is working in an organization organization uh, 
So in an organization, uh, particularly a profit uh, oriented uh, business, uh, the the chart, the organization chart is like this most of the time. So the highest level manager is the chief executive officer, or or we we call it uh, we call them CEO. So under the chief executive officer, there are uh, managers like uh, high level managers like chief financial officer, uh, marketing officer or vice president for marketing, vice president for operation or management. Uh, operation manager etc so the focus is on chief financial officer uh, the highest level uh, accountant the highest level position that requires requires uh, accounting qualification is the chief financial officer so under the chief uh, financial officer but uh, most of the time they are uh, controller, treasurer, and chief information officer. Uh, management accountant uh, is working under the financial controller. You can see in this uh, in this chart, uh, cost management, uh, which uh, uh, one of the function of uh, management accountant is under the uh, financial controller so if in the future you are planning to work as a management accountant you have to wear that you will work under the financial controller the financial controller uh, is working under chief financial officer and the chief financial officer has to report to uh, chief executive officer so and also like i said earlier a management accountant function is uh, mainly to support or to provide info and data to managers uh, managers like uh, CEO, uh, CFO uh, to assist them to make uh, business decision to do controlling activities to do planning activities etc so that is the the, the, the position where a management uh, accountant is uh, working in an organization okay no now uh, so you know that uh, a management accountant is working under the manager and now uh, when a management accountant is working under a manager the management accountant uh, supposed to know what are the function of managers uh, when they know the function of managers then they can do uh, management accountant can do their work effectively in helping the uh, management or managers in doing their their function or works so see here these are the four function of managers or management uh, the first one is strategic management uh, the second one is planning and decision making and the third one is management and operational control. Number four is preparation of financial statement. So th this four function of management. So now you as an accounting student or the future of management accountant uh, uh, understand. Uh, these are the four function, the main four, the four main function of management or managers, and then the the responsibility. Uh, of a management accountant is to assist the managers when the managers doing these four functions what is a strategic management uh, this is the most important of management function it involves identifying and implementing goals and action plans to maintain a competitive advantage for the business and then uh, what is planning and decision making? So this planning is, I think everybody knows about planning and decision making. It is information. Uh, for this function, information is needed to support recurring decisions such as scheduling, production, pricing, repairing and replacing uh, equipment. Management and operational control. 
information is needed to identify inefficient operations and reward effective management practice. Uh, I, you have to know uh, the the uh, the uh, what is uh, what is controlling function. Controlling function is uh, basically comparing the uh, actual data or achievement with uh, with budget or plan. And then, uh, if the situation is favorable, uh, it is good for the, uh, if the business is good. But if if the situation is unfavorable, uh, there is a need for doing uh, correction and improvement. And then the last one is uh, management also uh, responsible for the uh, for the process of preparation of financial statement. Uh, for this information is needed for management accounting information is needed to guarantee compliance with regulatory reporting requirements. Okay, this is uh, the strategic emphasis. The focus of cost management is on working with management to achieve the organization's goals through understanding the organization's competitive environment and implementing the organization organization strategy to succeed in this environment. This often means using all the organization's resources to identify and satisfy the customer's need. The strategy emphasis often requires creative and integrative thinking from a cross-functional uh, viewpoint. So this textbook is focused on strategic or strategy. So the the focus is on the uh, on the way management uh, trying to achieve the organization goals so when you read this textbook uh, you uh, you have to aware that the book is focusing on uh, how management accounting uh, techniques can be used to help the manager to achieve their target or goals for their business okay so this is another thing uh, that you have to wear uh, when you learn about management accounting. Uh, you have to wear that uh, if you are a management accountant and you work in uh, an organization uh, somewhere out there, you have to wear that there are different the different types of organizations. So. Uh, the responsibility or task of a management accountant in type 1 organization is different compared to another type of organization. Uh, so you have to wear that uh, out there, there are manufacturing business, merchandising business, service business, and also government and not-for-profit organization. So if you are a management accountant and you are working in a manufacturing business, your responsibility and tasks are different compared to a management accountant that is working in merchandising business or service business or working in government and non not for profit organization. So you have to aware that. Uh, what is a manufacturing business? A manufacturing business is a Business that purchase raw material, process the raw material, and produce finished product. A merchandising business uh, is a business that purchase uh, finished goods, uh, finished goods, and sell the same thing to the customer. Uh, they are like supermarket, uh, grocery shop, and also online online shop like Shopee, Amazon, etc. Service firms or service businesses are businesses that does are businesses that do not sell anything but provide services like hospital, hotel, uh, airlines, uh, business, 
transportation business delivery business etc so they do, they do not sell anything but they provide services uh, everybody knows about government and not for profit organization not for profit organization are mostly uh, charity uh, they do their works for charity for, to help others without uh, uh, without uh, looking for profit okay so just remember uh, a management accountant that is working in uh, one type of business uh, their, their responsibilities and tasks are different compared to working in other businesses uh, this one is very important uh, now, uh, businesses uh, uh, operating in a very challenging environment. So, they face many challenges. They are So this uh, section in this uh, topic will explain about the changes in com contemporary business environment. So very, uh, this is very interesting because you are uh, in the future, uh, you you will become, uh, you will look for uh, to develop your career. You will look for uh, for for job. So you have to aware about this. Uh, changes in contemporary uh, business environment these are the things that we, you will see when you are working in the future so uh, so let's see the first one where is the changes shift to a global business environment uh, economy interdependence and increased competition recent trend to economic nationaliz uh, nationalism okay so in the future you have to wear that when you want to to work in the future the the focus of uh, businesses now uh, is uh, has has shifted uh, from uh, focusing on the local market to the international market uh, the focus is uh, on global uh, market so when you work in a business most of the time you will have to think about how to market your product outside uh, outside our our country so that is a challenge for you and the second thing is lean manufacturing uh, techniques uh, just in time inventory methods inventory reduction and quality control flexible manufacturing system emphasis on speed to market uh, that is time based competition uh, now the focus of businesses out there particularly big businesses and multinational businesses they are focused on lean manufacturing techniques they are focusing on uh, production process with very uh, uh, they will try to min minimize uh, cost they want to produce everything quickly and uh, at minimum cost so they will improve their production process continuously to achieve uh, minimum cost and production process that is very efficient and very fast so that is the the, the thing about lean manufacturing they will cut cost at the same time they want to improve the profit uh, production and productivity and the quality and then number three you have to aware that the information of information technology uh, the increased use of internet has reduced processing time increased access to important information and facilitate information exchange uh, many uh, several years ago uh, things 
maybe not like now now the 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 use of the internet in all stages of business process uh, is very high particularly during this uh, covid-19 every everything uh, almost everything can be done uh, using internet and computer so this is the thing this will influence the business process and operation so you have to aware about this when you are entering the uh, job market uh, in the future and this also will affect the way management accountant doing their work focus on the customer uh, customer aspect functionality quality and innovation shorter product life cycle have an intensified competition so may maybe several years ago the focus is on uh, the production uh, on the cutting cost on the minimum wastage zero defect or etc but now the focus of many businesses are on the customer how to satisfy the customer demand demand for quality demand for price demand for 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 design etc so many businesses now they focus on the uh, customer rather than focusing on the things uh, like uh, things inside their business they try to produce something uh, that customer like rather than something that they like so that is the thing Shifts in management organization shift from financial to customer based measures. So, uh, see here uh, now the focus is more on customer. Uh, uh, businesses or companies they want to produce something that customer want rather than something that they want or something that they think good, they think is good. So that is the thing. The focus has shifted from financial measures and hierarchical 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 command and control hierarchical I think. hierarchical command and control organizations to non-financial measures and flexible organizational structure so remember about that number six social political and cultural consideration changes include more diverse workforce changes in regulatory requirements and renewed sense of ethical responsibility so uh, there are changing there are changes in social political and uh, culture also uh, now businesses they have to consider that now businesses has to accept the fact that their workforce are diverse uh, a business will have multinational workforce uh, like in malaysia we have uh, multiracial multiracial workforce each group of workforce uh, has different uh, cultural culture background and different way of doing things maybe very different perception about uh, doing things so they have to accept that as a challenge they have to deal with this kind of diversity uh, and also businesses also has to adapt to changes in regulatory requir requirements the regulatory requirements are changing uh, and a renewed sense of ethical responsibility now there are more emphasis on ethics when you are working uh, in the future uh, always remember ethics uh, are very important you have to do things ethically uh, people start to to appreciate uh, ethical behavior okay so these are good this is these are very good this is very good uh, you read the textbook and you see uh, Comparison of prior and contemporary business environment by function, manufacturing, marketing, and management 
organization. For example, here, basis of competition, prior business environment, economies of scale, and standardization. Before, many, many years, several years ago, maybe, uh, businesses, they compete in terms of economics of scale. Uh, they want to produce more so that they can get, uh, they can uh, uh, minimize cost or enjoy uh, economy of scale. And they hope they will uh, dominate the market. No, uh, that, that was uh, several, um, uh, an old strategy. Now, contemporary business environment, uh, businesses are not competing for economies of scale anymore. They are competing in terms of quality, functionality, and customer satisfaction. So if you are, when you are working uh, uh, in next several years, always remember, uh, your, you have to compete in terms of your business ha uh, has to compete in terms of quality, functionality, and customer satis satisfaction. Uh, cost is the second thing now. Uh, pe businesses are competing for quality, functionality, etc. That's why uh, the the easier example is uh, you look at the uh, smartphone market. Uh, sp smartphone market. Uh, Apple, for example, is dominating the smartphone market. Apple smartphone is not the iPhone is not the cheapest. It is not uh, the cheapest uh, product, but still it can dominate the market. Why? Because uh, because Apple iPhone is 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 good or better in terms of quality functionality and customer satisfaction so even though apple iphone is expensive still it can dominate the market uh, many many years ago this thing uh, does not happen many many years ago a product that is cheap uh, most of the time will dominate the market uh, now the, the there is a changing uh, the there is uh, a change in the in the basis of competition uh, manufacturing process you can see the difference there so we we look at the next thing we 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 cannot look at all the differences here but we focus on uh, the next thing is marketing. In terms of products, prior business environment, relatively few variations, long product life cycle. But contemporary business environment, uh, there are large number of variations and short product life cycle. Uh, uh, this thing can be seen in the... Uh, market for smartphone also if you uh, if you see the uh, smartphone market the life cycle is very short I think uh, Apple introduced uh, a new version of iPhone every year they will introduce uh, for example, iPhone 9 and then after one year, iPhone 10 or maybe less than one year. I, I'm not sure, but it is not more than one year. The product cycle is very fast. Product life cycle is very fast. Uh, many, many years ago, one product, maybe uh, uh, the life cycle of one product, maybe two, three years. But now everything is uh, the life cycle of uh, most product is very fast, uh, very fast. So that is the change. Uh, short product life cycle, and the market in terms of market, uh, many many years ago the market is mostly on domestic, but now 
the focus in uh, focus is uh, on the global market so and then you see we can see the last the last uh, point management focus uh, many many years ago or the prior business environment emphasis is on the short term short term performance measures and compensation concern for sustaining the current stock price short uh, and high mobility of uh, top managers but now contemporary business focus uh, on increased emphasis on the long term focus on critical success factor commit commitment to the long term success of the firm including shareholders value so uh, hopefully you have to you have uh, you will you will read about this comparison of prior and contemporary business environment by function and you have to aware about this uh, difference differences between the old uh, business practice and the contem contemporary business practice and learn something uh, about this the strategic focus of cost management Kaplan's faces for developing cost management system there are four Kaplan faces of uh, for developing cost management system stage one stage two stage three stage four and this is uh, according to Kaplan's Kaplan's is they call him a management guru or something he has introduced uh, several uh, theories and management techniques uh, and uh, his theories and techniques are very useful uh, for businesses uh, I think many businesses uh, applies uh, apply his uh, Kaplan's theory and uh, techniques so okay how the changes in the contemporary business environment affect cost management uh, so uh, this is the next thing in this topic one uh, I will stop now and this is the next uh, this uh, subtopic will be covered in the next in the next lecture thank you very much do not forget to write your name and metric number in the comment section uh, i will take that as your lecture attendance and for the students who are still not uh, subscribe this uh, channel uh, please do so uh, because it helps you to to see the existing lecture notes or lecture videos and also future uh, lecture videos thank you very much